I want the QDDR to be the blueprint to do exceptional things within an exceptional institution. To chart a course for how we're going to be more creative in our work together and in our engagement with the world. The Quadrennial Diplomacy and Development Review provides a blueprint for advancing America's interests in global security, inclusive economic growth, climate change, accountable governance, and freedom for all. As the leading donor for South Sudan's humanitarian crisis, USAID and the State Department have provided nearly $1 billion in emergency assistance to help those affected by the conflict. This life-saving aid helped reach 3.6 million people last year, including those displaced in the country and refugees who fled the violence. My team and I serve America in the front lines of diplomacy. We negotiated with partner countries at the United Nations to remove chemical weapons from Syria. We keep weapons of mass destruction, nuclear, biological, and chemical, and the materials to make them out of the hands of terrorists, and prevent the illicit trade of arms across borders. America leads an aggressive international effort to attack terrorist financing. To support this effort, my colleagues and I work daily with teammates across our government and around the world to identify and disrupt the money flows supporting terrorist organizations, including ISIL. We work closely with the United Nations and partner countries to block sources of funding to terrorists. To date, we've helped sanction through the UN 233 individuals associated with Al-Qaeda and ISIL, as well as 71 entities and groups. Here in Mexico, we have an embassy and nine consulates spread throughout the country. We're actively involved in promoting prosperity and security for our citizens. We promote trade and travel and educational exchanges. And we partner with our Mexican colleagues to fight against organized crime and violence. We don't shy away from the hard tasks. And we take risks to keep the U.S. safe and prosperous. I served America by reaching out to Iraqi children through sports in cities that were vulnerable to terrorism and poverty. Sports diplomacy transcends boundaries. During my tour in Baghdad, I and other embassy personnel taught Taekwondo to Iraqi youth and instilled with sports values of loyalty, perseverance, nonviolence, and respect, and helped focus their energy towards their positive development. As diplomats, we advocate for American businesses overseas. We also encourage foreign investors to come to the United States. Jobs diplomacy is a big part of our work. Since 2009, we've helped create 11.3 million American jobs. I serve America by educating U.S. businesses on countries' investment climates. My team and I also negotiate treaties to deepen our investment relationships and to ensure that Americans can invest abroad securely and with confidence. Investment drives economic growth and creates jobs around the globe and here in America. Here I serve our country by raising awareness on climate change issues with the government and private sector to reduce deforestation, cut greenhouse gas emissions, and protect biodiversity in Indonesia, the third largest democracy and fourth most populous country in the world. USAID has led the U.S. response, coordinating a whole-of-government effort involving our military, the CDC, our embassies, and the U.S. Public Health Service. We have partnered with regional governments, NGOs, the African Union, and the United Nations to mobilize more than 10,000 civilian responders to fight this outbreak. And we have flown in hundreds of tons of vital supplies. This effort is delivering real results, driving down Ebola case rates by more than 90%, and protecting our homeland in the process. American diplomats take risks while serving our country. We need to respond with agility when faced with a high threat. When ISIL terrorists attacked Iraqi dams last year, I had to quickly adapt from being the U.S. Embassy Baghdad science and technology officer to becoming the mission's water security expert. The U.S. military sought my guidance to recapture Mosul Dam, which was critical to Iraqi national security and our mission in Iraq. America leads in diplomacy in large part because of its diversity. Given the vast array of 21st century challenges, 
the diverse backgrounds and cultures of our diplomatic corps add tremendous value to furthering U.S. foreign policy abroad. HR works hard to recruit and maintain a diverse workforce, and I'm really proud to be part of it. So this is a review of how we've been doing things, but it's also a preview of what state and USAID need to do in order to put the United States of America in the strongest position to face the challenges and seize the opportunities of tomorrow. This is what we owe to the American people.